Do you use the targeting tab in your advertising API to help you set your product prices on Amazon? If not, maybe you should. Hi, my name is Matt Davis. I'm the director of advertising here at My Amazon Guy. Let's dive right in. I'm going to share my screen with you here. And this is uh, the Meloria. This is Steven, uh, Steven's account. So what we have here is our targeting tab. And what I've done is I'm looking at the widget here which is looking at our top performers by order right now. So I'm just going to look at the top one and you see what it does here. It drops that search term into my filter field down below. We'll wait for this data to load. Also make sure you always note your time window. And it's also important to make sure that you check your columns to make sure you have all the data you like. There's no right, wrong. It's just what you like. I like a lot of data, as you can see. All right. So the other thing we want to filter for, typically, is enabled and what this is doing is just eliminating any targets that aren't active right now so what i'm doing here is i'm looking at from the entire account perspective right from a thirty thousand foot view everything in terms of search terms that we are targeting right so this is the number one by orders as you can see by far right sage candles cleaning house is the target right and it's a keyword that's in a phrase campaign and an exact campaign in two different places targeting the same ASIN, which is this guy here, right? And as you can see, we have several variations, but it looks like the main one is a pack of three for $9.99. Now, getting back to the why, right? We've got this price at $9.99. How does my keyword um, targeting API and advertising inform that? Well, let's take a look. Right, so this is our number one ordering, a uh, number one target by orders, right across the entire account. And what we have here is, you know, based on 860 clicks, an average cost per click of a dollar 31, right, and a conversion rate of 21 percent, right, roughly one in five. So what that means is, it's costing me about a dollar 31 on average per click every time somebody clicks on my ad once they searched some variation of this because one of them is a phrase, right? So it could be exactly this or a phrase match related to this, right? So it's costing me roughly $1.31 per click and I'm converting at roughly one in five, meaning one in five of those clicks are ending up as sales, right? So essentially for this specific target, right? For this specific, which is my number one, again, my number one order driver, at least for the last week on this account, right? I can do the, some quick math, 131 by roughly five, right? And that can tell me how much on average I'm spending per sale, right? Then I can look at my landed cost, which is the cost per goods, cost of manufacturing, labor, everything to get my product to Amazon, calculate my Amazon fees, Add this number in on top, because if that number makes it bigger than your total sale price, you're not winning, right? So what should you do if you find that, hey, this is untenable, right? What if my product is right now, by the way, it looks like on average, right? We've got 188 orders and roughly 2,100 in sales. So we're we're looking at, you know, uh that's roughly like $11-ish um, for, for each sale, right? Which means the vast majority of the sales are that $9.99 variation, but there are some more expensive ones mixed in there, right? Um, so then you've got this number and you're looking at, you know, another seven bucks roughly in advertising on top of whatever your landed cost is, right? You can see um, how that might become untenable right now. If you're in that situation, what you have to do is find other ways to come at the same behavior, right? If you look at your key target behaviors, rather than a single, um, you know, bullseye to aim for, if you picture it like a web, right? Uh, the bullseye might be at the center, but everything on the target helps you index and helps you rank. Hope that was helpful. Again, my name is Matt Davis. I'm the director of advertising here at my Amazon guy. For more tips, tricks, tools, everything you know about how, you need to know about how to lead and succeed on Amazon, visit our YouTube channel, visit our website, www.myamazonguy.com.